indicator lifesaver cavern this is a roundabout <laughs> over your shoulder on it. Nice, well done. Lovely, well done, Leek. I make your decisions earlier than that, Sam. Stay in this lane, Julian. That's a bit of a late decision. Well done. So plan further ahead. If you can see the bus lane's about to end and you think you should be moving in, plan it earlier. Make sure you stay in your lane, it's quite easy to land in the wrong lane. So, if the lanes that are coming round are in lane two, whoops, he's done it. <laughs> That's why you never get directly next to anybody on a roundabout. Well done. Be aware of the big truck coming up on your right. Nice shoulder check for that one, Simon. Before you exit the roundabout, you did a mirror. Good, well done. Lovely. Nice. Try not to hold off on your throttle when you're checking your mirrors, Tom. Keep opening your throttle whilst you're checking your mirrors. Sometimes you're slowing down when you're looking in your mirrors. Good, well done. Keep it tight. Nice, needs a little bit more lean. I know why you didn't, because it felt like it might be a bit slippy. <laughs> but you've got to try and stay in your lane, so next time don't take it so quickly. It was at the maximum that I'd feel happy doing it at that speed in the wet. Mind your speed, 42. Be very mindful of the car in the bus lane, must be an electric car. So you can choose which lane you want to use at this roundabout because the bus lane does start again afterwards. You don't have to move in. Just a little bit of local knowledge on this one. Most roundabouts we would move in, but only if it's safe to do so. Stupid cars that indicate when they're not turning right. When the bus lane ends, we will move in for this roundabout, Shane, and then follow the signs for the station. Nice, don't cross the bus lane line next time though. Gotta make sure the bus lane's ended before you move in. 
using lane two at the roundabout we're taking the second exit lane two at the roundabout second exit i'm going to treat it like a right turn even though it is effectively directly opposite Go where Karen goes. Karen likes to go wherever she wants to go on a roundabout. <laughs> oh, let's keep going round, Karen. Pop your indicator on. Lovely. Let's go all the way round. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And then take the next exit. The next exit. That's the one. Start to count your exits. Because we always describe it as the second exit or the third exit. So try and count them as you're coming round or count them when you see the road sign. You can take the second exit this roundabout, second exit straight ahead. Count your exits, Karen. One, two. <laughs> well done. I didn't actually mean to beat then. I was covering my horn because of the car approaching. I didn't realise the horn button was that close on this bike. <laughs> Still, I'd rather beep it than not. Indicator lifesaver, Sam. The roundabout, we need an indicator to exit and a lifesaver to exit. Stay in the lane you're in, Julian. You just cut across into lane one and you need a lifesaver before you exit. So you missed a left lifesaver that was necessary. Good, well done. Lovely, keep it well over to the left to come around. Just make sure you stay in your lane. Keep left, keep left, keep left, 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 left. You should be going to the left of that pothole, chaps. You both cut across the wrong lane. Try and keep it further over to the left, Sean. You just landed in totally the wrong lane. You should be in the far left lane. Okay, the far left lane. We were in the furthest left lane for coming round the roundabout to the right. There are only two lanes that go round to the right, and we're in the left as well. It's good to get it out and, and done on this lesson, because if you can get all your mistakes done on this lesson, your test will be fine. Yeah. Um, and like I said, with that roundabout, I know why you did what you did, because we were in the left of the two right turn lanes. So when you came round, you looked for the left of the two right turn lanes, didn't you? But we weren't turning right anymore at that point. We'd already turned right, in which case you should have landed on the far left lane that was available to you instead. You've got to try and see it on the approach. When you're sitting there on the approach, as you come up to it, you've got to see, here's the roundabout. We're turning right, so we're going to be going around. And if once you've done your around bit, you're there. So you should then be following the road ahead. Because effectively, it's, it's, like a t it's like a crossroads or a T-junction. It's just got something round next to you. So basically, once you've turned right up here at the crossroads, you're going to land on the far left lane, aren't you? So remember, when more than one lane opens up in front of you, you should be landing in the left of the available lanes for the direction that you usually travel in, yeah. unless you've been given a double instruction. Yeah. In which case, um, if I'd said turn right at those lights, then turn right at the roundabout, landing in the right-hand lane would have been the correct thing to do. My best advice for how to remember where you're going on a roundabout is to imagine it before you get onto it. As you're approaching that roundabout, ask yourself where left or right is, and if possible, look at the sign on the approach. 
if they've said take the third exit right turn or just turn right at the roundabout try and look at the sign and work out where right is is it off at an angle is it over there is it down here on the sign because then you've got an idea of when you get onto the roundabout how far round you've got to go and if possible you can count your exits as you're coming past them which does help i know what you mean sometimes roundabouts are complicated and confusing but it's about your observations on the approach and thinking about it on the approach yeah. which direction do i want to be taking the exit Good, let's keep a good eye on those mirrors in multiple lanes, you need to know what's going on behind you. So nice, use your power now. Good, well done. Nice, well done. You don't have to left signal to come off a mini roundabout, you can just treat it like a T-junction. Depends on how big the roundabout is. Sometimes if it's a large mini roundabout, I would indicate to exit. Could have gone then, Harvey. That was overly cautious. With the speed that that car was approaching the roundabout, could be um, a little bit more positive. It's not your day with those gears today, is it, Jason? <laughs> don't worry, mate. Just accept it. Sometimes you have a day where things don't work right. They should be in position three for turning right on a single lane entry to a roundabout. When we get to the roundabout, turn right, fourth exit, right turn, fourth exit. Straight ahead at the roundabout in lane two. Straight ahead lane two. Good, nice mirrors Ian, well done. Remember, we're aiming to approach the roundabout on just the rear brake, so get your both brakes bit done. Take your speed down and rear brake now. No more front brake, keep your fingers off it. Okay, clutch back in, that was a lunge, that was too much, too soon. Okay, just tickle the clutch when you want to move off. Use the very beginning of millimetres. Indicator Ian. Well done, that was better. Okay, we need a left signal to exit. Keep your speed down. Don't go too fast because this is tight. Well done, good. You've got to assess the road ahead and see how fast you want to go for the tightness of those bends. Third exit right turn. Keep your speed down, Selma, that's a bit quick. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Okay, in order to keep it tight as you come round, you can't go in too hot. Plan ahead. Indicator off, David. You're moving out to the right with your left signal on. Just watch the surface on the roundabout. It's quite bumpy. We should be in lane one, and it's the worst lane, unfortunately. So bring your speed down. We're going straight ahead. Just relax. Let the bike ride the bumps. If you grip on for grim death. It's harder. Stay in your lane. Remember, we're looking for an indicator in. A left signal only, okay? And then a right lifesaver. So if you're going straight ahead on a roundabout, 
we don't put a right signal on, we just do a left signal to exit. First exit for Southwell D, first exit Southwell. Remember this speed limit changed just before the roundabout. Okay, what's your speed limit, chaps? There's no repeater signs down here. What's your speed limit? Look in your mirror. Look how far behind I am. Work out what your speed limit is. If the examiner's not keeping up with you, you're speeding. Good, well done. Notice where the speed limit changes back. So the examiner brings you in here to look at your roundabouts. You're going straight ahead at the first one. He may say nothing for this, so he just expects you to follow the road ahead. You get too close to eight. Indicator pull. We are not turning. Good, well done. The next roundabout, fourth exit right turn, that's a U-turn. Fourth exit right turn, that's a U-turn. Indicator Dave, what you like? Just keep following the road ahead Dave, straight ahead, straight ahead, indicator off. Remember, you've got to cancel that indicator before you go past anything that's a marked entrance on the left. Shoulders, because we've been stationary a while. <laughs> Both of you. Get your leg up, Dave. You look like a novice. <laughs> Let's take the power off. If you're wobbling, pick the power up. A bit more clutch. A little bit more clutch. Just give it a little more tickle. That's it. Well done. It takes the wobble off. Everybody wobbles, it's just how do you deal with it? Indicator lifesaver days, roundabout. Come on, do your procedure, mate. Straight ahead at the next one, Paul. Be very careful to stay in your lane. Remember, our lane goes really far round to the left to go straight ahead. So you've got to make sure you stay in your lane. Get past the silver car if you're going to get past him. Dave, don't sit next to it. So stay to the very edge of the roundabout as you come round. Good, well done. Hold your lane position, David. You're in the middle of the two lanes, mate. You should be staying tight to the roundabout if you're in this lane. And again, you've just cut across into the middle of the two lanes, mate. You're in the middle of two lanes. There's two lanes, you're in the middle of them. Okay, so if you're in the right-hand lane on the approach, keep it tight to the roundabout and keep it tight to the right as you come off.
right to lifesaver David. Don't get yourself in the blind spot of the van. Well done. So both of you, when we approach a roundabout, approach in second gear unless you're stopping. Okay, don't put it into first gear unless you've actually got to stop. 